Greetings and salutations, this is Jason Silverain, and today I'll be taking a look at A Story of Eve, A Hero Study. This is uh, developed and published by Small Squirrel, the first of their games on Steam. It was released October 2018 and is available for £2.09 in uh, English currency. Great British pound. A little bit of an unusual price, but I do think it's simply just due to the exchange rate at the moment. Now, this is an adult-only game, so you'll only be able to see it on Steam if your uh, settings are allowing you to. The game boasts 18 achievements and is available in English, Spanish, Chinese and Japanese. Though I will say the reports of the game initially had it having a very poor translation in English especially, but the developer, unlike some of the other more adult oriented games on Steam, actually cares about his game and came back and added a bunch of updates and had the translation completely redone so it's actually legible and not too bad actually. Now, the game boasts, in its description, six costumes, the skimpier the better, gives you more defense, six scenes, um, with three special scenes. Now, I'll have to explain those. This is sort of your typical fantasy anime adult game, in the fact that you get the scenes for losing to monsters, so they usually forced non-consensual. The three special scenes are kind of consensual. I'd show you in the album, but unfortunately I really can't do that with YouTube. The game's options aren't too bad, though I have discovered this little glitch here. Uh, as you can see, I've turned the volume quite down, but when I come into this, it automatically puts it up here up to 8 again. But it doesn't seem to actually affect the um, settings at all. And the menu system's relatively clear and concise, the artwork's relatively nice. I will say this, I really enjoy the soundtrack, it's pretty banging. <laughs> it's quite upbeat, and the final boss music, I just... I might go into the game's files and just see if I can find that, because I like listening to that, it's quite fun. The story and plot is very generic. Um, essentially, there's rumours of a demon lord coming back, and various heroes are gathering together to try and face him, and you are basically playing Eve, this young want-to-be hero who of the rogue class. The only reason she wants to be a hero is because she has a crush on a retired hero called Andrew, who agrees to be her mentor, and actually is a decent all-round chap. He's not like a pervy side protagonist. If anything, he tries to kind of keep her away from the lewd stuff when he can, and actually gets angry in like one or two scenes where she has a seduction spell cast on her when it makes her go wild. He really hates that violation of her, so I thought that's kind of nice for a love interest in one of these games to kind of actually try and respect the character. Now, let's get you get into the gameplay. I would continue, but again, I'm not sure. There was a save just before the final boss, and I don't know if it will stick me there or put me back into the hub. So we'll just go with a new game. See, this is the sort of music I'd expect from, like, a amateur RPG. I really kind of like it. Though I do like my sort of bit tunes and SNES sounding music, so that's just personal preference. Now, I would just change the word thief to rogue there, because, well, thief is illegal. Rogue, in fantasy terms, is more of a trap disarmer and, uh, oh, well, yeah, and backstabbing. You know, kind of an agile hero. So you kind of just jump straight into it, no real introduction to Eve other than the fact that she's going to go kill slimes on the planes. Now, there's no way to increase the tech speed. You cl can left qu uh, click to try and make it go faster, but it's very easy to just click past the conversations. A very simple tutorial. I think it's a little confusing at first, even though the way it's written is relatively simple, but 
honestly, once you get into the game, it's all about rock, paper, scissors with a little bit of random element. So yes, uh, there's four different types of card, which uh, change the event that occurs. And you, when you're going for a region, you start with ten cards. Costumes that you unlock may add to this number, and further regions have a higher starting number. So we just select a card, we just get move, we move along to the next card. And now we get a monster, now we get to see the combat. And this is where the rock, paper, scissors mechanics come in. You have attack, defense, and technique. Technique kind of being seduction. And you have two health bars, which is EP. I don't know what it stands for, but it seems to be like um, durability or magic points. And also you have health. So as you see, EP here, HP there. This is your opponent's deck, and it tells you percentage of what they're probably going to do but they don't always follow that this is the uh, effects your outfit has so my current outfit doesn't give me any technique gives me defense and offense we have a save here but you can only really do that in conversations and hubs and you can cause problems with this because if you save in the middle of conversations and reload it will put you back to the hub so you have to sort of go back to the com beginning of the conversation again this is the load button, there's your settings, there's quick game. Not fancy, but as a amateur game, I think that the um, UI is very clear for what it needs to do. So I select that, I select action. And different regions give you different items to unlock. Once you've got enough of these items, you can unlock the costumes. So we'll go on to the next one move the only things you get in this first first tutorial are move and battles i would have thrown a few items in here as well there's also one called shortcut which lets you skip a uh, thing now this is something we can do we can just use multiple cards at once and that clears your hand because you keep your hand from the last combat when you and you also draw new cards so it could be very tactical in terms of getting the cards you want for a particular boss Actually, the Slime King is so weak that it's almost impossible to lose to him. I had to purposely farm cards to um, get ones that he was actually strong against so I could lose the battle on purpose because you get all the um, adult content by losing just about. Not to the normal monsters, just to the bosses. I'll have to clarify that because um, that's not mentioned anyway. If you lose to a normal mob, you just go back to town. So there we go. One more monster just kill him very happy looking slimes aren't they okay phew finally finished the eastern side all that's left is the other side hmm, what's that oh, oh sorry is that what? it's you the hero you're back and this is all you know about andrew you get to see his hips and his groin later on but you don't see anything else of him yeah, so she's now an independent adventurer and this just goes straight into the tutorial for the costumes so I'm just gonna skip ahead so we can get to the costumes as you can see if you're in it just for the um, adult content you can just skip all the dialogue but you might as well read it and um, this is it I, I kind of like her starting costume and it just everything just gets skimpier with different themes now again, there are a few little bugs here, so as he's going through the tutorial, this is the hood, we go to the shop, we have enough coins to upgrade, but you get these oops, cute little chibis that um, demonstrate what the costume is probably going to look like, and they're rather cute. So this, yeah, you six different costumes, though I did find it when I had to unlock the final sacred outfit, uh, when I was trying to select it, the chibi from this one would appear there but other than that I could upgrade it and it was perfectly fine so we strengthen it each costume can only strengthen once which is a little bit of a shame it would have been nice for a bit more variation but uh, the artwork is quite simple and they have reused assets here and there for um, efficiency mostly so 
So yeah, and even she's like, oh, what? Why is my costume got smaller? How is this more efficient? I don't feel more powerful. So that's also brought into play, but she quickly gets over it. And this is pretty much the whole game in a nutshell. You'll get through it in about an hour and a half, two hours if you're taking your time. And the achievements are relatively easy to get. If so, if you want something, you can max out the achievements. You have a bit of uh, adult fun with, and it's relatively cheap. Cheaper than a chocolate bar, as I like to say. This is actually recommendable. Not one you can say, really, for most of the adult games on Steam. But thank you for watching, and I hope this has been informative.